Whew, it is hot as Hades outside, y'all. So I am sporting a bun. <sighs> Seriously, it is so hot. It is like 113 degrees outside. I'm melting! Whew. All right, y'all. Let's talk. I forgot to turn the phone off. My bad. Okay, let's talk demo reels. <laughs> All right, you guys know that a demo reel is one of the most important marketing tools that you're going to have as an actor when you are building your resume, when you are building your credits, when you are trying to get in the door. It's one of the smartest, most effective marketing tools that your agent or your manager can use um, to pitch you uh, and convince that casting director to take a chance on you uh, getting you in the room. Two to three minute demo reel is fine. Clips for a demo reel should be anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. And then you move on to the next clip. Just go to the most important part of that scene. You just want to feature the most important part of that scene and then you want to get on with it. If you can have a speed reel version of your demo reel, Have your larger demo reel and then you just take the most essential snippets of each of those scenes and put it together in about a 60 second overall speed reel. All right, here it is. <sighs> the montage. I'm just gonna put it to you straight. Nobody in casting cares about the montage. They don't want to see the montage. Nobody cares about the montage. The only person that cares about the montage is you and whoever put the demo reel together and said, ooh, this would look really cool at the beginning of it. Those of you who may not know, a montage are quick little images of you that you splice together and set it to music and it opens up at the beginning of your demo reel and we see all of that before we actually see the scenes that those little snippets are taken from. Let me show you an example. And bear in mind, I am not the demo reel fashion police, so I'm not gonna show you anybody else's footage other than my own. Here's what it would look like if I had a montage on my own demo reel. If anything, the montage is just annoying because when you work in casting, time is of the essence and you don't have enough of it ever. And this is one of those things that as an actor, I didn't realize until I worked in casting. I would get off the phone with an agent and they had just pitched their client uh, and I said, sure, send over the demo reel, I'll take a look at it. I open up the demo reel file and I see a montage. First thing I'm gonna do is go, <sighs> and I'm gonna to skip to the end of the montage, which is gonna be a little time consuming because I don't know where your montage ends if it's the first time I'm seeing it. I don't know where the scene is gonna start, so I'm gonna to have to hit the fast forward button to find it. Either that or while your montage is playing, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go refill my coffee. The only thing that casting cares about is the scenes themselves. They wanna to go to the meat. If you must have that montage in your demo reel, Put it on the end. Make it like an afterthought. Make it a closing kind of thing. Obviously, if you're an actor just starting out, it's probably likely that you don't have any footage to draw from. And you, you don't want to put together a demo reel that just features your staged performances with a camera that's way in the back of the theater and, and everything's shot on this wide master and we can't see what's happening here. There are companies uh, out there that you can hire to write, shoot, edit, and put together a fantastic demo reel for you. Now I have some strong advice when it comes to these companies because there's a lot of them out there and you wanna be very, very wise with the type of company that you hire. One, you wanna make sure that 
the production value of their equipment is very strong. This means that they're shooting on a high, high quality, high definition uh, camera. They are using uh, high, high quality sound. Um, they know what they're doing when it comes to editing and you want to make sure that you are going to be in the scene with another very strong actor. And this is really important because you want the scene that you are shooting to look like a, a clip from an independent film that you shot. Uh, it should not look like you hired a company to put together a demo reel for you. And I can tell you, having worked in casting, you see a lot of these type of made at home demo reels. And if the scene that you are shooting only features your character and it's shot the entire time over the shoulder of another human being, that is one of the most obvious signs that this is a demo reel company that you hired to put together your demo reel for you. It should not cost you an arm and a leg to put together a great demo reel. It should not cost you multiple thousands of dollars. If it's costing you multiple thousands of dollars, you might want to rethink who you're hiring. Now, for those of you who are based in Los Angeles, there is a company here in town that I've recommended to my students and coaching clients over the years. And I think they do a fantastic job covering all of the elements that I just mentioned. And for the high level of quality and comprehensive services that they offer, I feel their prices are more than fair. I need a really, really good reason to want to stay. And you can't think of one right now. I don't. Uh, now, I gotta say it. This video is not being sponsored by Relentless Filmworks, nor do I get any kind of kickback for recommending them. I just happen to really like these guys and I think that they do good work. They also offer a free consultation, which is nice. And they generously agreed to extend a 10% discount to my viewers all you gotta do is be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment at the end of this video. I will leave a link with more information and a discount code in the description box for you. So you guys, uh, that is my advice when it comes to demo reels and bear in mind, it is simply my professional advice, uh, take it or leave it. Always when it comes to professional decisions, be sure to seek wise counsel from a number of resources. So good luck with your demo reel and stay cool and I will catch you next time.